Our second replay will be from Light Crusaders, another Jace YouTuber, and uh, he's playing on NA and is currently Diamond 5, so it's around my um, it's around my ELO, so this should be a pretty interesting match. Now, right off the bat, he starts with Doran's Blade and the Cookie, which, in my opinion, um, if you're gonna build tier with Jace, which he will, um, you don't really need the Cookie. I would understand maybe if you go tearless build that you could use the cookie because of the extra mana but just like this I don't think Jace needs it. I think the assassin keystone is way better. Um, I think this is a wasted ward just because um, no one will be here uh, anyway and even if uh, Trindomir will be here um, it doesn't really, that, like the ward doesn't do anything for you. So I'd be kind of curious uh, why you warded this. Now you go and capture this, which is uh, free 15 gold, which is good. And right now you should be waiting in either one of these uh, two brushes. Just to get some uh, free auto attacks off. Uh Alright, like, you should have waited, um... Um... Oh. Uh, you should have waited here a bit longer. Like... If you stay here and let him come, like, he will uh, dance around uh, somewhere here and wait for you to show up. And if he doesn't see you uh, show up anywhere, he will go for the last hit. And when he goes to the last tier, um, you can jump on him with your two disguised ability. Like that's one thing you you could do, but I wouldn't really uh, recommend it against uh, Trindemir since he's really strong melee. So what I would instead do, uh, switch to range form and just get one or two auto attacks off for free. Another thing you do, which is a mistake in my opinion, is you're pushing the wave already way too hard. Like. Trindermere is uh, doing a good thing and he's waiting in, in this brush. What you, uh, what you have to do right now is try to freeze the lane as well as possible because he, he won't let you poke, poke him for free. So if you push this wave in, you're just doing him a favor because these minions, um, they won't die. They won't die as fast. What you should do instead is just uh, freeze the wave and wait for him to come out. Or if you want, uh, you can just queue this brush and uh, kind of force him out. Now, if you didn't kind of waste your ward here, uh, you could have warded this brush as well, and you could have uh, zoned him completely off the off the lane level one. Now you go for a quick little nice trade, which is nice. And you're getting yourself in a um, decent position to zone him as well, which is good as well. But like I said, uh, your lane is pushing really hard, so... He won't miss too much CS because he can just go um, farm on his turrets. Uh, you did another um, nice and quick trade, which is nice. And right now is where I would uh, go down and ward this tribush, because you can't really poke him under the turret right now. Like at least not when he's farming melee creeps. Right now you can, which you do, which is nice. But uh, yeah, you could have used this time to ward this tri um, tribush. Now you're poking him a lot, which is really nice. And you got the EQ combo off as well. And you got the Q-Poke with the melee range, which, uh, which is really good. Like you got the CS and you got the poke.
Like you still have no ward up, which is uh, not good because uh, if Skana wouldn't be uh, lazy, he could have just ganked top lane already, and it would have been successful as well. Now you back off from the gank, um, yeah, which is pretty um, good, I guess. Because there isn't really anything you could have done there. I buy another Doran's Blade, which again, um, it will slow down your mid game a little bit. I mean, sure, it will make you strong on lane, but since you're gonna build here, um, it kinda contradicts each other. So you build uh, Doran's Blade to get strong on lane, and then you build uh, Tier for a stronger mid and late game. It's I don't know, it kind of cancels each other out, in my opinion. So you should have got just gone uh, Longsword and uh, Pink Ward. And maybe some potions, depending on your gold. Like right now, you uh, you can hit him a couple of times, but you don't need to, it's, it's kind of risky. But you still could. Again, you kind of want to uh, reduce the minion wave here, which you do, which, with a really qu quick and nice uh, combo. Actually, you traded uh, really well with him. But you wasted your mana a little bit too much. I think you get all of these minions, um, which is nice. Uh, except this one. Now, right now, you should just um, port back and uh, TP back into the lane. Depending on if he TPs or not. Oh, he, he doesn't have TP. Alright, uh, you should have just gone back and uh, come back into the lane with a longsword or something. But I know you're playing with tears, so uh, I guess you were just waiting to get your tier before you go back, which, again, I don't know, man. I think uh, tier is very out uh, outdated on Jace. I don't think it's as good anymore. I think it holds back a lot of good players. Like you could jump on this minion wave and uh, trade with him really well. Oh yeah. Oh, you're going for TP gang. Okay. Um. All right, it's good that you um, went back in with your uh, two disguise ability, of course, to guarantee your team the kill. Though I don't know if I, if I would have uh, TP'd here as well. Like right now, if this would be solo queue, um, I wouldn't have TP'd honestly. But maybe these guys are uh, are your pre-mates, so because these kind of things are really risky if they have their summoners up or if they play it better. And I don't like to uh, get into these risks. I mean, maybe you were just doing it for the uh, e-grill Anna, but I don't know. Either way, it worked out, so it's nice. Alright, there we go. The infamous tier. I don't know, like I said, I think it uh, holds back a lot of good players to be even strong online. Because from what I saw, uh, you're a very strong laner, but uh, building tier is just um, making your laning phase weaker than it has to be. Again, you can just kind of jump on him. Like right now, if you just uh, jump on this back minion wave instead and uh, try to hit him that way, you can uh, push the lane in and at the same time get some poke on onto the Trindom as well.
Now right now, um, this is kind of risky, since uh, I don't think you know where Scanner is. Yeah, you have you have no clue where Scanner is right now, and uh, you just wasted your acceleration gate. Or not wasted, but you used it to poke, which means you can't really use it as escape when uh, Scanner comes around. And he has his ultimate as well, so... I mean, the fact that you have a pink ward here is nice, but it's not really gonna help you. If you are poking the Tundermare under the, under his turret and uh, Skana comes sneaking up, from, um, comes sneaking up from here. Again, a very risky trade. Um, I'm not sure. Wait. Let's look at the mini map if uh, Skana was visible. Well, like Scanner was not visible and you're doing this trade. Well, he's visible now. So I guess it's fine. But again, if you had no vision of the jungler, if you do an engage like this and the jungler is, um, is around and you have no flash, uh, you're a dead man. Yeah, that, uh, that was a really nice Q. Like you hit the back minion wave and him as well. Which is like the perfect Q. Again, uh, you poke him, we, uh, you punish him for every CS, uh, and that's pretty much what you want to do. I don't know why you're tanking so much um, minion aggro there, but... It's not too, too big of a deal. Now, I don't think this is a good idea, but... Uh, this is a really nice uh, knockback from you, but yeah, you blew his ultimate, which is nice, but again, it's actually, it, uh, Skana was dead, so I don't know about the wrists. I don't know where Syndra was or is right now. Actually, let me look. Um, I think uh, Syndra either based or was dead, so... Again, a uh, nice knockback. You forced his ultimate, and... Now, if Zack wouldn't have missed his E, his tournament would have been dead. Zack is doing um, something Actually... Oh yeah, he has passive, okay. This Zack is playing this guy quite bad. This Zack should be standing right here. Like, here where he's standing, um, it's really bad. He has his passive, so when Trindamere tries to fight him, his passive will pl uh, plop and you, you can just either save him or kill Trindamere. Oh, this could get interesting. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> oh my god, the sack. Uh, being the good guy you are, you, you gave him his... Uh, gave him the speed push as well, so he gets out. My god, the sack. Like... Let's see your mana. Yeah, I think it's enough for a melee combo. Like, uh, Zack kinda ruined your bait right now, uh, right there. Like, here's a pink ward. There's no, uh, there's no reason to rush this, honestly. This was just another kill opportunity, uh, ruined by Zack, to be honest. Engaging him uh, on him like this without um, mana and without your jungler being there is kind of risky. But yeah, I thought I think you, um, I think that you thought that uh, Zack was around top. But even if he was around top, I think uh, Z um, I think Trindamir would have killed you both since you have no mana. 
Now you're building a serrated dirk, which is nice, so you get some damage. And especially for laning phase, this is really strong. Again, you can go for short and aggressive trades with Chindamir. Like, just uh, jump on him and uh, do your knock knockback. Like, there's nothing he can do. Like, let me show you. Like, right now, just uh, jump on this minion and uh, knock him back. There there's nothing he can do to retaliate from that trade. It's just uh, free damage. And since you have tier, you can do that. Right now you're trying to freeze the lane um, while your minions are still there. Against a good lane opponent, um, he will never allow this, so it's kinda risky. You just took a lot of free damage. It was a nice attempt to freeze though. Now what you're doing right here, um, waiting for the last second of his recall, is really good because you're denying him even more of uh, base time. Again, um, well played on the uh, trades there. Like you kinda go in, kite him back a bit, go for another auto attack and go back again. Like that's really well played. And again, I think like um, if you would play without here or try it a couple of times, I think you would be a much, not a much better laner, but a much stronger lane. Now you're going for a nice combo, but right now I would stop chasing because I know he has ultimate. And there's nothing you can do to kill him. He will always get away because he has his ultimate. You're kinda wasting your flash and then you're fighting him. I'm not sure why you backed off since he can't really burst you down. Even with ignite, even with a couple of lucky crits, so... Or maybe your EQ? Oh. Let's see. Let's see if you could have uh, hit that EQ, because I think it's, I don't know, I think it's close. Uh, I'm not sure, I don't think you could have uh, hit that. It was very close either way. Um, return of Bug of War. Um, pushing like this, oh, okay, Scanner's dead, never mind, it's safe. What you could do instead is uh, wait in his brush for Tundermere. And uh, since he has no ultimate and he has no flash as well, you could have killed him by just waiting here. See, he, he would have overextended here because he thought you are back. And if you would have engaged from, uh, from here, from behind, there is nothing he could have done. He would have died. I don't know, sometimes you just have to um, cheese a little bit. This is where you um, where you're out, outside of uh, outside his vision. Like he, he doesn't see shit here, so uh, he doesn't see that you're recalling here, he doesn't see that you're on his brush, he doesn't see uh, shit. He's just focused on his CS. And he wants to clear it obviously. And he thinks that you're back. Right now is where you would engage from behind. Preferably, uh, preferably you could wait until he uses his E on the minion wave as well, so he has no escape, but... There we go. Now you could engage, he has no escape, uh, he has no ultimate, he has no flash, he has no summoners, he's fucked. Like, that's what I do a lot, um, when I see they waste on... When I see, it's, for example, a Trindamer wasting his E on a minion wave, I just uh, jump on him. Um, this is the point, like, this is another point where I disagree with your build. Um, going for cloth armor, I mean, sure, against Tundamere it's fine, but really, that Twitch is quite uh, behind, and their Syndra is getting really strong, so getting armor boots, 
just to um, survive a bit l a bit longer against Sundaman is I think it's uh, it's wasted gold honestly like you shouldn't go for defensive st uh, stats right now maybe if you want um, or actually you do need some kind of magic resist because uh, Syndra is probably gonna shit on you all I just click, uh, quickly clear the wave and go mid lane. This is a really nice EQ. You give, um, you guarantee your Ezreal a kill and uh, damage the Alistar. No, the Twitch as well or the Syndra as well. Uh, the Syndra. Right now. Syndra has to back off, Twitch dies, and this more or less actually gives you a free turret if you all push right now. Like I disagree um, if you're going top lane right now. Oh, even TPing. I like you should have stayed uh, mid lane with your team, push this wave in, get this tower, and then you could have TP top lane. Because your turret, uh, top lane turret is quite healthy. You could have uh, let him tank a couple of hits. Not to mention getting, like, opening uh, mid lane like this. Getting this turret is really important. Now again, you could go for a quick uh, melee trade. Or you just jump on him and use your thundering blow. I guess it's kind of risky since you don't really know where Scanner is right now. Wait. Actually, I think you might. Because you have wards. Um. And there we go, you TP. Yeah, okay, you definitely saw Scanner here. Uh, you, you could always go for some uh, some extra melee traits. Because if you just jump on him and knock him back, like there's nothing he can do. He can't auto attack, he can't do shit if you just jump here and knock him back. Again, a really nice quick combo. He, he can't do anything against that. <laughs> oh my god. Nice one, man. I love it. Again, some quick nice trades would be nice. Oh, there you go. I think you could have... Even though it's kind of risky, but... If you're jumping in like that anyway... Um, you should show a little bit more uh, presence. You should threaten him to kill him uh, more. Right now... Like right now where you engage on him, don't uh, run back, because what you want- Oh, you wanted the cannon, you greedy bastard. <laughs> okay, that's why you backed off, you wanted the cannon. Uh, you could have forced his ultimate there, 100%. He would have uh, He would have been scared and he would have ulted. <laughs> Alright, uh, but yeah, you preferred the cannon, which is... I thought it was just a minion, but... I guess it's fine. Again, a nice EQ combo. Um, Zack is getting chased and caught. Now, right now, you are pretty much in lethal range. Like, if Trinomay allows you to, uh, you should just clear this, clear this wave and uh, try to go back as soon as possible because Trinomay can dive you. Yeah, he has Flash and Ignite and this is ultimate. Like, take these two minions and just go back. At least that's what I hope you do.
Ah, you're staying, alright. I think the reason you're... Um, or like a common mistake a lot of people do is they stay in lane way too long, like you have almost 1.7k gold, like you should just go back and buy items. Not to mention you are almost in lethal range of his uh, all-in combo. Oh my god, like that's so clean trading, it's just... Like, that was really clean. Like, you go for the combo, you auto attack him, he comes, you dodge his uh, swing, you give him an auto attack, and while he goes back, jump on his. Um, while, he, while he's going back, you jump on him, and you, c you could have casted your E as well, but I guess you didn't get it out in time, or you wanted to play it a bit safer. But, like, that's the kind of traits I, I want to see from uh, Jace players. Because that's the kind of play um, traits a lot of newer Jace players don't do. They just don't uh, maximize their damage output as Jace. Like you dodge his um, E, give him out, uh, an auto attack, hide him back so he can't retaliate, and then uh, finish it off with two disguise in his back. Which is really nice. Like again. I would recommend not building tier. I know I said this a lot of times, but don't build tier and just go for uh, lane domination. Like I can guarantee you, you will at least get diamond four or diamond three with this. Like you, you are uh, already a very strong laner, but you are being uh, held back by tier. And that's what I meant with uh, lethal range, by the way. Like Trinomad can just uh, flash on you, ignite you. And ulti and ignore the turrets. That's just one of the uh, results of not going back with so much gold. Or overstaying. Um, I would have played it a bit different though. Like, right now you're getting engaged. You knock him back, which is good. He flashes on you. And now you're using the turret um, as an obstacle, which is really nice. But right now you're missing a, a tiny bit. Um, you're wasting a tiny bit of time casting your Q. Like, casting your Q is completely un uh, unnecessary there. You don't need the damage. I know you do it because you're used to it, and I would have probably uh, done the same. But it's just something uh, we have to look out for. Like we are just used to blasting our EQ combo, but right now you shouldn't cast your Q. Like, look, casting your Q um, makes you stand still for a little bit, which is just precious time wasted. And what I would have done differently is I would have waited for my uh, transform cooldown, and I would, uh, I would have tried to kite around the turrets and um, eventually jump on a minion. Like here, let me show you. Right now he's chasing you. But what I would have done is just walk uh, walk around this uh, turret. Like you have cooldowns right now, I know. But I would have uh, would have tried to walk around the turret. And if I had my Q up, like if I could uh, switch forms, I would have jumped to the uh, these minions. Like against the Trindomer, you will uh, you want always uh, you want to always stand in uh, tower range, just so you can uh, more or less secure the kill on him. Even though you're gonna die, probably. Now this stack is a real dumbass. Like, seeing this shit uh, tilts me already, like... Instead of coming straight for Trindamere... He's walking all the way around, uh, just to get the farm. I think he has ultimate as well, right? Yeah, he does. I'm very sure he could've killed this Trindamere. With his all-in combo. But then again, he's level 9 and really behind, I'm not sure. Now you're going bot lane to defend instead of top lane. Um, which would be fine if Ezreal would be go uh, going top lane to defend as well. 
but it's not necessary since Trinamere is not uh, pushing for some reason. Another thing I, when I'm split pushing, I don't like to do is um, use my EQ combo. When I'm in a situation like, like this, um, I don't like to use my EQ combo to push the wave because I don't know who will be coming for me. Right now you don't know if Twitch is coming for you, or if Trindamere is coming for you, or you kinda do know who is coming for you because uh, Twitch is not on the map. But yeah, like wasting your EQ combo not knowing where one of the enemies are is just uh, risky if they try to flank you. Wait, let, let me actually uh, give you an example. Like right now you used your EQ combo to clear the um, minion wave, but imagine uh, Twitch coming from uh, coming from this brush and attacking you. Like you, you would have cooldowns and you couldn't really uh, retaliate for a couple of seconds, which which are more or less deadly in most cases. It's just one example or a thing in, uh, to watch out in general. Now, using your Yumus on, on the turret again, it's something I wouldn't do unless the turret is in lethal range. Like. If you can kill the turret by using um, Yumus, by using the attack speed boost from Yumus, I would do it, but when the turret is full life like this, just a waste most of the times. Right now, that's unfortunate. Now, I don't think you could have killed this Twitch. Even if you would have played it differently, but what how I would have played it is um, shoot my EQ, and right now I would switch uh, switch forms and uh, flash on him, uh, do my melee uh, passive strike, and then use my EQ combo on him. It wouldn't have killed him uh, in this case because you don't have enough damage right now with your build, but. Just generally how I would have uh, done the combo. Like see, this one second you're wasting uh, doing an auto attack, it's just not really worth it. Like doing an auto attack doesn't do as much as doing your Q or doing your E. Or even your W sometimes. Another thing I would have done differently is um, if you uh, would would have wanted to use your flash differently. Is blast my EQ combo and then flash right here into this uh, into this brush, because if you would have um, if you would have flashed right here, uh, Twitch has no vision. That means he can't really auto attack you, and that again means you have enough time to cast your Q. Because the Q uh, takes some time to load up. Or to execute, rather. But yeah, that's just unfortunate. Um, I don't think you could have killed him either way, because you don't have enough damage and he had to heal. By the way, um. Wait, let me switch this. Um, by the way. I would recommend putting some points in E, like at least two points in E, so your E is level three. Because if your E is not level three, um, it won't do any damage. But if you just put two points in it, it can be a very strong spell. That's just uh, my experience with it. Sometimes even maxing it second is a viable option, especially against tanks. Now you. Using your TP here, um, you don't really have a lot of vision on the enemy team. Like you don't know if um, if Syndra or some. Wait, actually, let me look. Maybe you do know.
Just trying to look if uh, Syndra showed, here, uh, showed herself somewhere. No, she didn't. She's at the blue buff, so... You don't really know where Syndra is. Uh, you kinda know where Tundame is. She's around top lane. So TPing here, if Syndra comes from here and sees that you're TPing, it's, it's kinda risky. I personally would have TP'd here instead of here, but maybe you just didn't see that board, which is very likely. Now, you go for the Scanner instead of the Twitch, which is good, because you can't uh, reach the Twitch anyway. And now your team comes for assistance. You kill Twitch and uh, clean him up, which is nice. You clean up Scanner as well. And the good thing you do here is uh, to not ch chase um, the Alistair, because your team is already doing it. So you go to defend uh, instead, which is good. Like it's good that uh, that you didn't go for that blue buff because uh, Syndra was there as well. All right here you don't go to defend this turret which is really good because uh, Twitch is probably around here somewhere. Or he could have been and... You obviously don't know that uh, that he's right there. Uh, he could have been around bot lane, so you don't go to defend, which is good. But now you go and engage. Um, like right now, um, you didn't need to be so scared, and you didn't need to knock him away either. Like against Tundermere, um the most common mistake I see is that people just uh, knock Tundermay instantly away from him as soon as he starts ulting, which is a mistake. Like right here, uh, you should just keep out attack him. Uh, you don't even need to out attack him. You just uh, you just want to stay around him. Now we see that he um, uh, spent over the wall. Right now, he flashed, and if you see that. You want to aim your EQ combo around uh, here, like you wanna, you wanna aim it at the exit because you know for a uh, for a fact he has to go through here um, to escape essentially. So shooting your EQ combo here is a very safe thing to do. So let's see. Do you have your EQ combo up? Ah, wait, I can show you another thing. All right, that's great, that's great, that's great. I can show you another thing that I like to do with Jace. In situations like these, um, where you have still cooldown on your E, I like to shoot my Q and then cast the E as soon as it's um, up. That will mean that your Q will just fly normally, and as soon as your E is up, it will get accelerated and it would have hit him. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, if you would have done, um, if you would have, sh wait, you don't even have Q. Oh, um, well, that's awkward. Um. Where, oh wait, why did you use your Q? <laughs> um. Wait, no, you don't have cooldown. Um, oops. Yeah, like I said, uh, you could have uh, killed him there. If you would have just shot your Q, and as soon as your E is up, you just spam the E where the Q is, and it will get accelerated. Oh god, I hope uh, OBS is still recording and I'm not doing this for nothing. The enemy team got Baron because the tournament did, uh, did a really well distraction on the top laner and the jungle.
this game is just overall um, pretty messy from your teammates' parts as well. Like your jungler, <laughs> from what I've seen, he isn't that great. And uh, your mid laner, I saw the damaged stats at the end of the game. Um, he's pretty trash as well. Like no offense, but uh, this just wasn't a good game. I want to turn this off. Now doing this right now is extremely risky. You don't know where the enemy team is and uh, pushing this far up, I don't know, could lead you uh, to get killed. Luckily for you there's no one around so you're in no danger. Like what I do, uh, what I would do right now, um, if you would be in a position to trade with... Wait a minute. No, you could have uh, you could have gotten this top turrets. Oh wait, you had an F. Oh, was he AFK the whole time? Well, I guess that's uh, partially the reason you guys lost as well. But again, um, you could have pushed this top tower and w went back down. Because honestly, there's not much uh, you can do to defend these turrets if an um, if a team who's ahead with Baron buff uh, decides to 5 man push this mid lane turrets, there's just not much you can do. Even 4 man with uh, Syndra. Like see, if you would have uh, applied pressure here, you um, like, I don't know, like staying here with your team just doesn't do anything. If you would have been uh, top lane the whole time and at least forced the tournament to go back, then maybe uh, port it back yourself or TP it back to base. Maybe that would have been a better choice, but again, um, this game is pretty, pretty hard to turn. Like this is just a horrible position to be with um, Mana Mew and Jace. Honestly, I've been in these situations a lot and. It's just a situation where either you are behind or your whole team is behind and Jace just feels kind of useless even though he had the most damage dealt in the team. Jace just kind of feels useless and like he doesn't deal a lot of damage anymore. But again, um, at this point you should have sold your ninja tabbies and uh, should have gotten the Ionian boots in my opinion. Just, uh, just so you can stay back and uh, poke the whole time. Wait, uh, let's see how much cooldown reduction do you have? Uh, eighteen percent. Uh, that's not too lot. Uh, that's not too much. Uh, you really need to uh, get some cooldown reduction. Now Cannon is getting caught, which is really awesome. I don't think there's much happening at this point. That's just a that's a nice attempt, but Cyrus uh, Syndra is too fast. Yeah, I think uh, they will end it now. Oh God, the frames. 
Like right now, there's not much you can do as Jace, honestly. It's just sad. Like Scanner is so tanky. Like that's why um, I just love rushing. Not rushing, but maybe as a second item having Black Cleaver on top lane. Because you can just uh, shit on tanks like these. But yeah, I think uh, Mana Mune or the tier builds holds back a lot of great uh, Jace players from doing w uh, way better. If you haven't tried a tier list build, uh, you should definitely uh, definitely do. And though I'm, I'm pretty sure you did try it already, uh, give it another try, like seriously. It's, it's really strong and I think it will uh, help you out a lot. Anyway guys, uh, that's it for this replay. Um, I will link like Crusader's montages or his YouTube on my description down below, so make sure to check it out. And uh, yeah, I'll just pick the next replay and uh, move on tomorrow.